Look North World is a video game developer, and we are developing on a brand new platform inside of one of the largest gaming communities today, which is Fortnite. I've been making video games for about 30 years. I started my career founding Bungie Studios, and I think this is the future. And this really feels to me like we're at the beginning of something big, and I really wanted to be a part of it. And this is the most fun I've had in a long time. <laughs> and we're very excited to be early on UEFN, and we jumped at the opportunity to be building here. Uh, it is a very fast environment, which allows us to iterate very quickly. And that iterative process is really what gets you from good to great and great to amazing. Speed of development within UBFN is amazing because we don't have to create a character controller. We have the Fortnite character controller. We don't have to create our own art assets to populate the level and we can use the Fortnite assets. They also have a set of gray box assets. So you can really get up and moving quickly and test the fun. In game development, the biggest thing is getting to fun as quickly as possible. And if you can start playing a map in one day, two days, and start testing that fun like that quickly, it's a game changer. I've never seen taking an idea from concept to putting it out to iterating with the community in just a couple months. That just doesn't exist in the video game industry. We're very used to spending years working on games before we even know if we've got something that fans are really going to embrace. And on UEFN, it's so much faster. So combining that with this really engaged audience and this huge library of content that already exists, it allows us to focus on being creative, which is a great place for us to be. Alo Corral was Look North World's first island, uh, which we launched pretty much the day we started the company. And uh, it really came out of our desire to bring something that was just pure fun to players. So it's a series of shootouts. Imagine being in the Old West and squaring off against your foe in a shootout. Um, so it's a lot of fun and it's got our mascot character, Seguro Sam in there and lots of little hidden treats to find as you play. Y'all took too long, so watch out for them bombs. We decided when we released Outlaw Corral that we wanted to create a audience and inside of our Discord community that would be ready to play and play test and give us feedback that we could pitch to, that we could get ideas from. And to have over 25,000 people in our community just a few months into a company is pretty unheard of in the video game space. To have revenue coming in in just a few months is unheard of in the video game space. You have an opportunity to put an idea in front of hundreds of millions of players, and that really doesn't exist anywhere else. So it's a great place to validate ideas, but it's also a great place to build a, a business and build a community because there's so many dedicated players uh, and community for Fortnite. We've got our second island out, Carrera Coast. It's really an homage to some of our roots. It's 6v6 team deathmatch in a brand new map, which we designed it with uh, a modder from the Halo community. Our map is very meticulously designed. The sight lines are all verified and tested over and over again. The way we kind of think about our slate is we're thinking about what we can learn from each game and, and trying to, to bring players kind of between each experience. So our previous map was a 1v1. Now this is a 6v6. So can we take skills players are learning in 1v1 and bring it to a team environment? You better go get it. You better go get it. We also have Mark Ribelay, uh, AKA Loop Daddy, is in the map. And that's a really cool Easter egg surprise putting on a show in the middle of gameplay. We're really grateful that Mark wanted a partner. He's been a great partner. It was really fun to Fortnite him. And Mark gets to be in Fortnite and he gets to uh, play music for a whole new audience. And so there's all these people discovering his music on a whole new platform that never had heard him before. You better go get it. For me, it feels like, oh, I get to grow with this audience because I'm learning with the audience and I'm listening. And as a game maker, I'm gonna, it's gonna allow me but to be relevant for the next 10, 20 years. And anyone who's not in UAFN or Building Forts really missing out on the opportunity to reach new players and try new things.